today I want to talk about the topic loneliness when you're doing everything on your own in your business. Um, and I hope and I wish for you that that's a phase that you will pass over as quickly as possible. My name is Tine Kerense from Powerful Business Academy. I'm a business mentor with 30 years of business experience and I'm all about helping women to scale and grow from a one-woman business to a proper business with a team and much more. So what about loneliness? What about um, the fact that uh, when you run your business on your own, you wear lots and lots of hats? Uh, for example, marketing, sales, design, copywriting, social media, uh, finance, lead generation, admin, emails. And that's just half of all the tasks that you need to do. And, well, I know because um, I'm in my office, but I'm on my own here at the moment as well. And fortunately, it is something I don't suffer from, loneliness. I love being on my own. I love working on my own. Uh, but I also love having people around, but not when I work, because I'm not focused when I have people around me. So for me, that's working in, in, in my spare time, that's when I love to have people around. But what about the fact if you do feel lonely? In my opinion, it's a phase in your business you should leave behind you as soon as you can. It's not healthy when you do everything on your own in your business. It's not healthy, at least, when you have a big ambition. And I know many women have a big ambition. And when they start a business, they get overwhelmed with all the tasks that are there. And they also might get a bit of disappointment because it's really not going as quick as many people leave you to believe. They... Um, never tell you how hard it is and how hard you need to work and how much time it takes before you finally pivot your business into a successful business. It only happens occasionally that when you start a business you get very successful from the beginning. For most of us that's not the case. And then when you start and you don't have a lot of money in the beginning it makes sense that you do everything on your own. However, that's not a smart business decision. As soon as you can, start to delegate. There's no need for you to learn how to work with Canva so that you can do your own designs to save money for a designer. There are designers who can make designs for you for five US dollar per gig. So it really doesn't have to be that expensive. So why wasting time on learning how to work on Canva or any other design tool um, when you can outsource it to other people? And this is always the strategy I teach to people. Why do you need a training on how to become a good online marketeer? Well, it takes you many years to become a good online marketeer. Why not outsource it? Why go through all the hassle to learn and do everything yourself. And that also helps you to stay lonely because when you need to do everything on your own, yeah, loneliness can kick in. But when you have people who work for you remote, you are creating a team. And that needs from you to step up, of course. And when you just started, you don't really feel like you're a boss. Eh? You think you can't tell people what to do. But it's the kind of attitude and mindset that is going to help you to scale your business much quicker and then create your team. So prevent you from doing everything on your own and becoming lonely. So I hope this has helped uh, you to, uh, to see that it's not necessary to stay in that phase of loneliness all the time. It's just a few, few months maybe, or even less. After you've had your first client, you should treat yourself on starting to extend your team instead of treating yourself on paying for a training to learn yet another skill, what in my opinion you, you should learn how to outsource. I wish you well. 
I hope this has helped you. I wish you a great week and I'll speak to you next week. In the end of the video, you can see my contact details and do join our Facebook group, Powerful Businesswoman. The link is also at the end. Bye bye.